and welcome to the stream. It's me, Decaf Jedi. So glad you could be here tonight. Uh, skip the toilet, everyone. You're all very looking very Sigma this evening. <laughs> trying to get in touch with a, a younger crowd here on the stream. We really need to work on our demographics. And I literally said those words, uh, skip the toilet. You're looking very Sigma to my daughter like 20 minutes ago. And she laughed nonstop for like 10 minutes straight. So I can only assume that is a very hip and uh, and very, very cool thing to say. <laughs> Skibbity toilet. Good to see you. Welcome. And thank you so much for the raid, Seth Aurelius. Thank you. Hope you're having a good time tonight. I appreciate you coming over. Welcome in Melee Brawler and welcome in everyone for more Fallout New Vegas. Enjoy bees. Good to see you, Grace. I'm glad you're taking a break from watching Fallout the TV show to watch Fallout the Decap Jedi stream. Uh, how are you enjoying the TV show so far? I really dug it. I thought it was uh, quite good. Uh, certainly urged me to play this but uh yeah uh glad you you could all be here six seven good to see you i don't know if i've forgotten everything since the last time but i have played a little bit off stream since the last time we saw each other um specifically i did some uh some side quests around freeside um i recruited Cass, who i think i totally missed in my original playthrough I recruited Cass and uh, and got her companion quest knocked out, and I've added Rex to my party. I think that's where we're going to pick up today. We're going to pursue Rex's companion quest. Rex is, of course, a dog with a robot brain. I'm very excited to see where we can go with him. And thank you so much for the follow, Championette. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well this evening. Welcome in to the stream. The show is uh, fun. It's a bold choice that uses a lot of designs one for one yeah you know i like that too like i was noticing one of the things that first leapt out at me was like the little door control panels beside the doors inside the vault are like again one to one straight out of i guess probably fallout 4 is the most immediate uh inspiration for them but yeah even though it looks a little cartoony it's like i dig that they were just like yeah we're rolling with it this is you know if for all the nerds out there who want this to be exactly like the vaults they remember from the games we're uh, we're going for it and of course they got every bit of the lore right especially surrounding new vegas so what is there to complain about that's a dangerous thing i need to start going back to san seth they'll get me more followers like skibbity toilet this is a good point if they made this 10 years ago you're exactly right they would have made like an ipad style pip boy all the fans would have gotten mad and nobody would have liked it. So this is significant progress over that. So as I was saying, I thought maybe we'd start out with our good buddy Rex. Let's get a look at Rex here. Look at this guy. Look at that good, good dog. Whimper. How you feeling, boy? So he's not doing well. He is brained in his little dome there is slowly deteriorating. But I think we can work on that. And this is Cass. Uh, we picked her up since our last stream. And let me show you what else I invested in. I uh, gathered a few caps and I got a very cool weapon. Uh, Paciencia, I hope I'm saying that right. Patience. Uh, but uh, we have some serious crit damage here with this brand new rifle. We're going to have some fun with that. So all kinds of exciting things in store. But first, we need to go fix up this dog. That means we need to go to Jacob's Town. Hey, Scrub J. I finally weaponized pancetta. No longer will it kill people slowly with cholesterol. Now it will do it quick with bullets. Okay, so I guess we'll go to here. Maybe we'll discover Vault 22 on the way and then head on to Jacobstown. Got a little bit of hoofing to do here, and I'm afraid this could be Deathclaw territory. I don't know. Hope you're doing well, Scrub J. I'm loving this one. I haven't played it since release and have been having a lot of fun with it. There's Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters. How good is that? With the sun setting right over the bottle. I mean, that is, that is screenshot territory there. Welcome to screenshot territory. All right, let's get, let's get on the move. Places to be. People to meet. Wastelands to tame. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you've had a good weekend. Thank you for joining me. Hey, Deacon GA. Welcome, man. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Just got done. Oh, crap. What's that? Oh, wait, are these fiends? Oh, no. All right, a couple of missed shots. Good start, good start. Get him, Rexy. Oh, this is bad. 
Oh, bad for him. That's cartwheel. Let's <laughs> hear a list of all the Star Wars movies. Hey, Crimson Leah. <laughs> Been watching the show play Fallout 76 and now watching a new Vegas stream. Well, I'm glad you could be here. That's been me lately. I've recently reinstalled all the uh, all the games. I've been uh, playing around in all of them. I have a uh, ooh Blastmaster armor. Um, I have a Fallout seventy six character that's like level one hundred and fifty or something that I've been uh, playing around with a little bit more. It's good to be back. Hope you're doing well though. Welcome to the stream. I'm Decap Jedi. If you've never been here before. Jess, uh, Decap Jedi is my birth name. <laughs> it feels weird introducing myself like that. It's not my Christian name. Got some nice sunset going on here. So I was asking uh, Grayson in the chat earlier how uh, how he was enjoying. The Fallout TV show, uh, Crimson Lee. Have you also uh, been uh, been digging it? I'm guessing so. If it got you wanting to play, uh, got you wanting to play more Fallout. The Casador. Not much. What's a Casador with you? Those guys are gross. I need to cut it out. No mood for hunting. Young Casador is my favorite TV series right now. It's so much better than the big Casador theory. Brewers beer bootlegging. I mean, probably, yeah, I'll go in there. Just a shack? Just a shack. Don't mind if I do. Scotch beer. Jet? Yes, please. What is it, boy? A lot of fun. Bounce of the quirkiness humor of the games. Yeah, I would agree. I think that the fact that they got so much of the dark humor is something that really works well for me in the series like to me that's a big part of the fallout appeal and it was good to see that the people working on it clearly got that a good 12 hours to sleep okie dokie's totally iconic absolutely agree all right let's see what's going on in here I'm from West Virginia, so Fallout 76 is uh, pretty near and dear to my heart. I briefly had my camp set up basically where my home is. Just somewhere in the neighborhood of the Nuka-Cola bottling uh, factory. Right. Going on down here. BBs. Sure, why not? Explosive's great. Absolutely. Ah! I'm breaking bobby pins like crazy here. I need to get a little bit more careful. East Tennessee. Oh wow! I went to uh, went to college in uh, in East Tennessee in Bristol. Northeast Tennessee, which is to say, around the Virginia border. But yeah, that's definitely Appalachia adjacent.
strategic nuclear moose. Ooh, big book of science. I think that's one of the permanent stat upgrades, isn't it? Ah, oh, went to college in Chattanooga and live in Knoxville. Yeah. I grew up uh, spending a lot of time hopping down to uh, the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, uh, Knoxville kind of area for various things. So, yeah, I know that, uh, know that region pretty well. Welcome in. Glad you can be here. Let's see here. Big book of science. Could be an aid. Yeah, that's a permanent science plus three. Bootlegger's cabinet key. Be great for opening bootlegger cabinets. I don't remember this from my first playthrough. It's kind of fun. I wonder where the cabinet is. That's a good question. Where's this quote unquote cabinet? Doo 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 doo. Let's see signs of a cabinet. Maybe it's one of the things I already picked. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe that'll do it. I'll take a grenade launcher. Why not? All right, here we go. Let's get going, gang. Back on our mission to heal our dog. Someone's it's... looking to cash their chips early. Oh, who? Well, I guess we'll never know. Oh, it's a cast door. Probably not the best gun for right up close, but. Maybe go to our uh, sturdy caravan shot. No, 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 he's still up. Hey, Yakubin. Good to see you. Thank you for the bit. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Oh, man, I'm dead. Crap. Okay, that was the Cosador dying and not me. Man, how'd that happen? How'd that go so wrong? Yeah, let's get some more close up on this guy. Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> That's me, TBH. <laughs> that, I'm like one step away from collapsing. <laughs> yeah, that was PTSD. It's serious business. Oh man, it just gets you sometimes. All right, well, let's be a little smarter than that, I guess. Hey, Lemmy. Guess these things are venomous, huh? Time for some get you. Okay, Rex is unconscious. Man, these things wreck. Absolutely wreck. Safe. I hate these guys. Yeah, I'm mad too, Rex. I don't know more of them. Oh, crumbs. Run away. Well, there went cast. Here goes me. <laughs> the ragdoll deaths are very good. Do these things have nests? Do I need to destroy a nest? Oh, man. Okay. Got more pain in me than this. Oh, that is a nest, isn't it? Huh. Ah, I smelled it. I'm sure, that's exactly what I need to do. Uh, maybe a frag grenade. You have zero chance to hit. Yeah, I know.
Okay, let's see here. Guess I need a gun. Okay, Casador. Spray and pray, baby. Spray and pray. Man, their their venom is crazy. Okay, let's see here. A couple of mac and cheeses. That's what I do in times of uh, times of trouble. Mac and cheese, it comes to me. You kill the nest. I hate this. This is not Sigma. <laughs> this is very skibbity toilet. Billy <laughs> powder dry pasta and cheese. I mean, yeah. I bet you that if you put some craft macaroni and cheese or craft dinner powder onto a wound, it would absolutely uh, coagulate. I think that that's going to stop bleeding like right away. Those guys are moving along, aren't they? They do. You're just in time for your ass whipping. Well, I misread that as ass whipping, and I thought that was a very different kind of game at that point. Okay. Oh no. Good lord, these guys are. Oh god. No, no. No, no. A little woozy. Yeah, what else is new? Dead? Everybody dead? All right. Oh no! There's another one. Backpedal! Backpedal! Drink a couple of nukas. That's what we need. They are awful, aren't they, Dr. Mario? These guys are just just a real bunch of jerks. How am I doing on my progress toward my destination? Oh, God, I haven't made any progress. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to take all that just to walk there. Okay. Mm. Visible wall. I don't know. Do they have delicious honey? Is that be searching their bodies for good, good honey? I'm across this mountain range. I don't want to fight more. <laughs> Maybe their nests are something tasty. I'm terrified of them. Everybody wants that giant hornet goo. It's true. Yes, you distract. Well, whiz this one by your ear. Don't worry, Gats. It's all right. <laughs> My lord. All right. And then the fight started. No, 
now the fight starts. I like giving a close up where nothing happens. Man, those are valuable poison glands. Okay, I'm gonna try to examine this nest. I guess my better judge. Oh God! Got him. This one's clipping through stuff. I don't know how to fight that. No mood for hunting. Either. I need to hack this thing up, or is there not really anything in it? Or if I can get around this uh, mountain range. I'm guessing I can somehow, but is this the right way? All I know is I've got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Yeah, maybe it could be a tunnel scenario. I will say the courier really gives up easily on slightly steep hills. Whoa, that must be Vault 22. Let's go discover that so they don't have to walk out here again. Well, that's pretty gorgeous. A real Project uh, Genesis situation going on there. <laughs> Frenzy, no, no. Okay, this is where I'm not spending any points on oh, the end of hand. I can get you. Oops. Stay out. The plants kill. I mean, that could mean anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Okay, we'll be smarter this time. Okay, I don't think I want to go to Vault 22 right this instant. As I recall, and from what I remember people saying in chat, Vault 22 is a bit of a pain. I do have a quest to go there, but I really want to get Rex up and running first. So maybe we need to get to that road and follow it. That looks like it's the smart move. So we'll try to sync up with that road if we can. Take the long way around. Tumble along with the tumble and tumbleweed. You just join us. Welcome, man. It's Fallout New Vegas. It's me, Decaf Jedi. Hope you've been having a good weekend. Had a very low-key weekend. My daughter has a softball game on Saturday. 
She is uh, now leading her team and being hit by pitches. Which, you know, translates to on-base percentage. Uh, and, you know, in Moneyball, that's what it's all about. If Jonah Hill were trying to recruit a team, she would be near the top. It's like a POI. That has the distinct look of a POI. I've been having so much fun streaming Fallout New Vegas. I hardly ever do RPGs here on the channel. Probably the closest I've come or playing through a bunch of the Zelda games so far. But I've really enjoyed it. It actually made me think the other day. It's like, what if someday... I fulfilled my destiny and streamed Skyrim. I haven't played Skyrim since it came out. Uh, so I've forgotten everything about Skyrim. But it's like, maybe I could maybe I can stream some Skyrim. I was actually thinking, like, maybe my concept would be. Because, I mean, I have a feeling I wouldn't be the first person to stream Skyrim. There's a good chance someone's thought of it before me. But I was thinking, what if... Oh, no, the Legion. Uh, what if... I had a character whose name was Sky Gem. And, uh, you know, just, just a guy that lives in Skyrim named Sky Gem. And uh, it was all about the adventures of Sky Gem. Like, that would set the me Kaisar apart. The has marked you for death, and the Legion obeys. Okay, you can try to kill me if you want. Oh! Uh -oh. Suboptimal for him, huh? All right, your turn. That's a good question. Did like the Legion tell him? It's like now a lot of people have gone after this courier character, and a lot of them have just been grenaded into oblivion. It's always the thing when your push brush helmet gets just stuck in the ground like that. Oh, that's level up. Whoa, a 2,000 cap pistol. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and a super... Man, this guy's carrying a whole lot of caps worth of crap. Uh-oh, level 15. XP delivery from the Shy Mouth Boy. Now, I thought about this earlier, and I'm not going to lie to you. Shy Mouth Boy, this is full disclosure. When I said I thought about a Sky Gem playthrough, I absolutely went into... Like, originally it was going to be Sky Gem, J-E-M. And I went in to see if I could create a character in Skyrim that looked anything like Gem from Gem and the Holograms. And realized it was very difficult. And back down from that idea. So it may just be Gem, J-I-M, but absolutely my initial... Like Sky Gem, as in Gem and the Holograms. One of my absolute favorite TV shows growing up. So our brains, uh, maybe unsurprisingly, very in sync on this one. Call me JC Chazes because our brains are Let's in distribute sync. Distribute the weight. All right, Cass, I'm trusting you. Oh, yeah, candor's what we're all about here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm wanting to give full transparency. There's no point, you know, in us. Oh wow, she's on the Legion helmet, huh? Okay, Cass, you do you. Why aren't you going to take this though? Are you full? No, I don't want to wear it. I want her to take it. Uh, hey, Cass. Let's deal. Need you to take something. Let's see. Please carry this Legion veteran armor for me. Oh. Hey, Rexy boy. <laughs> He's just a Rexy boy. Rexy boy. He's not a dog boy.
And these guys really are just a uh, a loot delivery system at this point. Like, yeah, I'll take your 800 cap sawed off shotgun, sure. Okay, off we go. Making progress. Is there a stream that's intended for uncertain audiences? I, that's a great question. This one claims it's intended for certain audiences, but doesn't specify whom. So I have to figure, yeah, there's some streams there just for audiences that haven't decided yet. Like what game do you watch streamed if, uh, if you're just uncertain? Is it just the games and demos category on Twitch? You just hop right in there and uh, just hope for the best. Hope you get something good. this place now I know this isn't exactly on my route but you see a point of interest like this and you think to yourself this could be powder gangers it could be fiends it could be ghouls I could be anything it could be the Brooks tumbleweed ranch for all you know not this a tumbleweed ranch that's nice water and hole so I'm taking a nap On here. What dark secret does your encampment hold? Also, do you have a bed that isn't currently owned? I feel like I could sleep on a couch in the wasteland. Like, it wouldn't be my first choice here, IRL. But in the wasteland, I think I could manage to sleep on a couch. My human body would probably explode, though, if here IRL I tried to sleep on a couch. I need very specific, uh, very specific conditions to sleep. That's why I wouldn't last more than a minute in the zombie apocalypse. Or any kind of apocalypse, for that matter. I'm very excited in the fall semester I'm going to be teaching a class I haven't taught in 10 years uh, 10 years ago I began teaching a class called politics of the undead where we uh, looked at vampires and zombies and Frankensteins and ghosts and things like that and use them to talk about political theory and sort of use this kind of a I guess you could say almost like a Trojan horse to get students who maybe wouldn't otherwise be interested in political theory into it. And uh, I took a little break from it, mostly because my students were mostly interested in The Walking Dead, and I kind of reached a point where I didn't need to watch The Walking Dead anymore. I kind of like decided I was done with The Walking Dead. Ooh, lying professional style. Um, help. yes. Um, but now I've decided to bring it back. And uh, this time around, I'm gonna have them watch the first season of The Last of Us. And we're gonna use that as like our common text uh, to start out with. So I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm hoping students will dig it. It's always hard to tell. Like, will they just look at me and think, why is this crazy man trying to talk about zombies in a political science class? Ooh, plus three permanent, yeah. But that should be fun. Enrollments looks look solid for it. Okay, back on track to go save Rex the Wonder Dog. Okay, so let's see what our map looks like. Okay, so I probably just need to keep on following this long and lonesome road. Everything's politics, so bring me more chips for you and have I mean, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, that is absolutely like the theme of all my pop culture classes is everything is politics, which I think students are pretty dubious about. This should be a point of interest. I'm interested in it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I wonder how many other classes have been canceled due to the existence of a popular TV show. That's a good question. I just reached a point where I couldn't see myself watching any more Walking Dead. I was just growing angrier and angrier. <laughs> so that was early on in its run. I didn't even make it very far, and I was just like, I can't do this. Man, why do I have to go the long way around for everything? Wait, maybe I don't. Somewhere in the middle of the second season, I need to think back to when I got out. Like, I made it to when Michonne joined the cast, but probably not a whole lot longer. I guess I can go back a little bit and there should be a road up here. Why am I so bad at navigating? Like when I left, the show had kind of settled in to the, oh wow, it's a community of survivors. I hope they don't have any kind of dark secret that unites them. And oops, they do these ones are cannibals or these ones are you know crypto fascists or these are crypto fascist cannibals which i guess is very standard zombie apocalypse kind of stuff like and at some level that's like the fallout vibe too right every little community has some sort of weird dark secret too much fluff filler yeah I feel like I got out before that became as much of an issue. Right now, I'm trying to force myself to watch this final season of Star Trek Discovery. Like, that's my current. Can I endure this much longer? Because I'm growing to, like, strongly dislike virtually every character on that show. <laughs> A show that I really enjoyed early in its run. I really haven't cared. I know that this may be a step with some people. I haven't cared for it since it made bleak to the distant, distant future. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, with uh, so much po post-apocalyptic stuff, just assumes yeah everybody's going to be uh, going to be a monster. Very much a Thomas Hobbes, a Bijan kind of way of looking at things more of a Lockean guy myself. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a big corner bull. When you say crypto fascist, your brain first gave you cryptocurrency. I mean, yeah, I mean, those may not be necessarily separate groups in some cases. Well, I think the good news is we found our mount, mountain pass we needed. Went to Jacobstown. Probably owned by the Jacobs Gum Company from Borderlands. I can only assume. That, this is that rare case where they crossed over. And by crossed over, I think I'm talking about before the existence of Borderlands. Oh no, more Cazadors? Ugh. These guys are the worst. I like the change in uh, environment as we're getting up here, though. This is kind of fun. This really is just such a lovely game. And again, a lovely game that was developed in 18 months. Like, the level of care and just absolute detail that they put into this game is truly remarkable. As I said, when I came into this, like, uh oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, Mantis. Yeah, when I came into this one, in my head, I liked Fallout 3 a little better than New Vegas, but upon replay, it's like, ah, no, that's. New Vegas is really impressing me. 
do those things you know, about people trading crypto in the zombie apocalypse. Not, like, I like the idea of like maybe trying to sell NFTs in the zombie apocalypse. Like, you come up to a settlement and they're all just like, we don't like strangers around here. We only have so much food to go around. You pull your own. The guy's like, uh, yeah, I have, I have this monkey JPEG. <laughs> Will you please let me in? I don't, right now. I don't know if you've seen my monkey JPEGs, but they are very valuable. There's only one of these. Turned around the wrong way. That would have been a disappointment. All right, here we are. Working our way to Jacobstown. I have no memory of ever coming here in the original playthrough I did of this. I don't think I recruited Rex or Cass, which makes me wonder what in the world did I do in this playthrough? I think Boone and Eddie were my only companions the entire game. I think I must have really sucked. Okay. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. Uh -oh. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. Sure, Marcus. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Great voice. Doc's inside the lodge. It does have some wharf vibes. Such as? Was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured it was a okay. place to call our own. Town's far enough hey, from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days, I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting. Just get along. We recruit this dude? He was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town. Walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Long story. So mm -hmm. here's the short version. The master created the super mutants and nightkin. The master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences. No more war. Ah, he was a companion Fallout 2. Okay. Town was broken hills. I still haven't played one and two. Humans and ghouls all Good. living together peacefully. I've tried to play well, them. Most of the time. We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Mm -hmm. Eventually we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. I've got a fear now. All right. A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. It's nice of them put such an informative guy really right here at the front gate. The NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? Well, that's another story. Now, those guys seem like real jerks. Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. They will Amazing once I take people over. People would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, Ooh. into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. But that Shady Sands is a sight to see. They expand fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. <laughs> Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. What's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. So are the Nightkin the night super mutants? allowed to have stealth boys so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. 
Someone should take away like my key lights and microphones so my craziness doesn't get worse. Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. That was very informative, Marcus. Thank you. We did it. We discovered Jacob's town. I would like to possibly wait until morning so I can see things. Did anyone notice that guy who came in from the wasteland that just stood in front of the building for like 12 hours? Yeah, it was weird. Know what was up with that dude? Hey, do any of you guys have names? Stupid big owners. We're making noise all night. Stupid big owners. Better watch. We're making noise all night. Learn about her grandkids again. Sorry, you can't speak all at once and expect me to understand you. Press with your discipline. Another human. One was enough. Hi, King. someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Sorry, King. Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. You should turn invisible. It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil. And you're not making it easy with your incessant... Dr. Henry, he's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Ooh, should we revolt doesn't against Marcus I don't together? I respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, oh, well. he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. This is a great point, Joy Bees. Marcus, we meet, he's all chatty and regular. The rest are very closely smash puny human. The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary. Instead, we wait. Well, thank you for Not that bit of exposition. Else. I don't want anything to do with you. A super mutant? Oh. Okay, I will refrain from hacking any of your terminals. There's right. too much light. Right. Why is there always too much light? These guys, all they do is complain. He's not can, man. Snowflakes. Hey, oh, this is a character I could be interested in. What's up, oh, Calamity? I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Hey, welcome in. Thank you for the raid, Forte. How are you doing tonight? Let's see. I know I saw... What, were you screaming King's Quest 4 tonight? Is that right? Was it uh, King's Quest 4? Thank you either way for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Everyone go follow uh, Forte. You're doing speed runs in King's Quest 4, right? Just some nice relaxed to meet you. King's Quest I'm 4 speed Calamity. running. Most of the time. I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. Uh, Once in a while, I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Change names and jobs every decade or so Same. just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Oh, uh, that's true. King's Quest 4 does have some RNG stuff going on. I bet that makes speedrunning a hit and miss kind of prospect. Prospectors looking for salvage usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The Is she a Deadwood come reference? This way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Did this predate Deadwood? Did it come out around the same time? I mean, either way, it's probably a reference to the actual historical Calamity Jane. But. I, have no, I can't in my head remember which would have come All right. first. All that's a big blur. Stimmy packs. I don't need those right away, but. 
Let me. My reading glasses clearly shut. Hey, Forte. Thank you so much for the resub. I appreciate it. Oh, man. That is a, a lot of money for a little bit of repair. Bye. Deadwood was mid 2000s. Gosh. Doesn't seem that long ago. Oh, man. What's up, Rexy? Hey, Doc Henry. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupt. Something's wrong with that cyber dog. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living that makes brain sense. for so long. So you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't my left chair Jacob's around. town in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her Novak. A pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, mm. since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype. I'd like to help. I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost mm -hmm. a few of her big horners to Night Stalker attacks. Holy eh? It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Because Marcus yeah. asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get. Yeah, the Deadwood film was surprisingly good. Like, it feels the like. Field has been modulated that was. To use less power like the after series last movie never seems like the right idea, but it, it worked has out. pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a... I mean, honestly, anything with Timothy Oliphant is, uh, is going to make me happy. Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Justified is a series I deeply love. Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. Oops. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of... Bye. All right, so possibly... We go still a dog brain from the Legion. It's Lily, by the way. There is too much light. Why is there always too much light? Dude, the Oliphant has an incredible episode on uh, Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. That's interesting. I haven't seen that one. What is Lily? You may have done something. This is why I never fell. Hmm. Maybe she's outside. I think I want to do the Rex thing first. Okay. Possibly go to the Khazar. I mean, I hate to take brains from a nice old lady's dog, but I feel nothing wrong with taking them from the Legion. I wonder if that's the Legion one. What were the three options? Yeah, the fiends are going to be there. I mean, I can get to the... Uh... Okay, let's maybe try the fiends. The Legion looks a long way away. <laughs> Not that I'm going to make my decisions based entirely on how far things are, are away, but you know. 
that's what I'm figuring a little. I need to go south west. South by southwest. You know, Justified recently had that brief comeback as like was it City Primordial? Or Primordial? It was like uh like one season, now we're in Detroit kind of thing. And it was pretty good. Like, again, probably a show that if you'd asked me, I would have said, absolutely, that should not come back. And then it came back, and I was like, no, this is actually good. I'm glad it's back. I'm going to blow you to pieces. You like the side of your own. Ooh, get him, Rex. That mean it. Don't kill me. you uh get you upgrade here soon then you'll be unstoppable so as the look of a pile I can't climb over How are we doing? We're an hour in. Making great progress. Got him uh oh, someone's trying to kill us again. More fiends. Oops, missed. Ooh, another big miss. Not a miss. Also not a miss. There's nothing I enjoy more than looting in the middle of a battle. Oops, sorry guy. Bad news for you. My dog ate you. Sometimes it bees like that. Is this how I get there? Kind of looks like maybe. South Vegas ruins. Oh man. Bad guys here. Oh, hey, guy. <laughs> this gun's pretty decent. Ooh, lots of rolling shootouts. That sounds fun. Rex is down there killing far, far away, guys. So you can't get the ultimate shot. Oh wow, Rex Rex is on to the next target, huh? Oh, he can't get enough. Dog's nuts though. Alright gang, good work. Yeah, you know, I've played so little in the way of modded Fallout. Again, I have this heavily modded, but just enough to make it run smoothly. Which is still 9,000 mods, but you know.
Yeah, it is tough. Like, I think if I started modding, I wouldn't be able to stop. Like, I think if I really got into it, I wouldn't be able to say when. It's like a maze. I never enjoy these little areas in Fallout games where you have to like go through one area to get to the area you want to go to. I'm guessing these doors will lead me to another zone. We'll say at least, whoa. Did I just shoot through that thing? Okay. I will say New Vegas does a nice job of... Wait, did I not go through them? New Vegas does a good job of indicating waypoints on the map. Yeah, fiend territory. Here we go. Oh, this was like fiend territory. Point. Uh oh. I got it since we're a wild weapon. Cook, cook. Cook, cook, what are you doing? Cook, cook. Oh, you set my dog on fire, though. All right, cook, cook. Cook, cook's mangled head. Could come in handy. Flamer fuel. I mean, I'll take flamer. And incinerator. Whoa. Okay. Come here. Wow. We picked up some stuff off that. Okay, there you go. I guess that's the end of Cook Cook. I don't have a quest to get Cook Cook's mangled head, but I mean, now that I have it, I guess that's uh, just how it goes. So, where do you keep your dogs? Fair to have it. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. If I need a mangled cook cook head later, I'm going to feel like a real nincompoop for leaving it laying on the ground here. Imagine this from Kaz's point of view. This <laughs> guy's head might come in handy for no reason. Yeah. Like, you know how it is. Sometimes you just like, you know, a head in the hand is worth two in the bush, I guess is all I would say. I see some dogs. Oh, I hate this part. Oh, that was unnecessary. Come on, Rex. You gotta get tougher than that. Alright, just a pile of dog carcasses. No wonder this is only rated for some audiences. Well, there went violent. Just head number two. We did it, gang. So, uh... Got a little more dog meat than I wanted to. So did we do it? All right, there you have it. I guess I guess we solved that quest. All it took was dog murder. Hey, 
Hey, what's up, Marcus? Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs. Killing our big mm. hornets, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard. Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. You're human. They might. All right. Well, it just so happens. I'd rather not get involved. Mm, that sounds very side questy to me. Oh no. Ninka poops don't last long in the wasteland. Okay, where's this quest go? Let's go ahead. In case this is time sensitive. Not many quests seem to be, are they? Wow, they're down the road. I'm on it. Don't worry. Thank y'all for being here tonight. I've been excited uh, that people are showing up to watch some new Vegas. People have been showing up on the YouTube channel too. That's always a pleasure. Glad to have y'all here. Our business is with the muties. <laughs> I've always known when to fight and when to back down. And okay. it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. Well, that's another successful subquest. Probably should check my gear again, just to be safe. Yeah, I'd kind of like to have your gear. You look pretty awesome. But that is a really good look. Hello. Big day tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in a w weird little moment. My grades are due tomorrow. And unless I have some students submit some last minute stuff, I think all my grading's done. So, like, this week is kind of my veg out week before I start out all my summer writing projects. But I'm really excited about those. I'm doing some cool new stuff with my research on video game ads and sort of taking that to the next stage. So, it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Hopefully a productive summer. Something on your mind? It was a rough semester. Oh, my goodness. So many papers written by ChatGPT at the end of it. It broke my heart and my brain, honestly. It's kind of tough to power through those things good glad you didn't kill them letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants i think about 20 percent of my final papers were chat gpt attack jacobstown they're not going to get it from us that's right they're not good papers i mean at the beginning of the year i think i thought that i think i thought uh i think i thought that Chat GPT would be difficult to spot. And it's like, no, it's not difficult to spot. It's just so disappointing that they go with it when it's producing such Smart, bad charismatic. results. From hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans. Prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. That's well, unfortunate. Like where I make my big mistake is when a student, I used to be when a student plagiarizes or now when they write with chat GPT and just let it do all the work and everything. I think I come away from it getting my feelings hurt. Like, why would they do this to me? Which is like the absolute, they didn't do this to me. I realized that intellectually, like this wasn't an act directed at me. But I think sometimes it's like, why, why would they cheat in my class? I mean, why would they cheat in my class? I'm like the easiest professor on earth. Because but of a promise. that's a bad and path to go down. To but like, but why would they do this to me of all people? It's the stealth boys they use. So you Knight can have a hard time being seen like normal folks. I have a hard time being seen like normal folks. I get that. to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. That's been my policy, Shamak boys. Just grade them as if they're just a regular paper, like they're real. And they're usually so bad, it gets the student a bad grade anyway, so they're punished somewhat. Um, and I try not to like grade them extra harshly. I try to grade just exactly what's on the page. And that's not a great system. And then, in a lot of cases, I will say some things like, 
in the comments, just something along the lines of, you know, if this isn't AI written, it feels AI written enough that that's a concern too. Like if you wrote this yourself, it sounds like AI and that's not good. If you didn't write this yourself, well, that's not great either since you didn't really disclose that. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Reminds me of someone who paid someone to write a dissertation for them. Oh man, yeah. I mean, I've had students turn in essays that I'm almost certain they uh, purchased online that still have like a field at the top of the front page that says insert professor's name here, which is always pretty fun to see. I've had a decent number that of those. Happens. There's a good chance other nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are going to get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Mm -hmm. Might come here looking for payback. Classic. Yeah, this happened all the time at the expansion. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the problem. It's, it's impossible to reliably detect it, even though you know in your heart of hearts. But what that means is, when it gets appealed and you have to go before a board, there's such a chance that the board's going to say, well, in the absence of proof, they should get to rewrite the paper or something like that. And then it's like, well, now they have a chance to earn a higher grade. And, you know, that's, like that's no Kaisar good. like and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Okay. I think what I'm going to do next semester is have my students do more in-class writing, which I don't love. I really prefer to give them assignments to take home with them so they can really take their time and do their best work and really, you know, do hopefully like more critical thinking and less of just what they can recall on the spot. But yeah, this time around that just resulted in so Hello. much chat GPT stuff. I think I'm going to have to go back to doing things in the classroom as much of a bummer as is that there is. something else i can do for you very well show me what you brought big brain on this one all right so the big brain on violetta Damn. heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug turbo transplanting this brain will make oh wait oh no what do we do here gang uh so each brain gives a different upgrade that's hilarious so Violetta is a fast brain. I guess there's probably a tough brain and a strong brain, probably an endurance brain and a damage brain. I think I'm just gonna be, I think I'm just gonna get Rex upgraded. He gets Violetta's brain. They get Violetta's brain now. Have a seat. Right. In 2025, the year of the orals. I also get emails from students that are written in chat GPT, which is really funny too, because they'll always be like, dear esteemed professor. <laughs> First of all, nobody holds me in esteem. So that's how I know right away that it's not for real. But yeah, it's uh, that's always funny too. Taking a creative writing class where so few students brought material to class, the teacher banished us back to our dorms to write something like a 10 page story in two hours. I once had a philosophy professor get so mad they started throwing books at the class and like actually hit a couple of students with fairly large books and then told us not to come back until we were ready to be serious. And he stormed out of the room. As soon as he was gone, I got everybody together. I said, let's take two weeks off. Um, he said, don't come back until we're serious about this. Let's just take two weeks off. Then we'll all come back together and then we'll all be serious about this. But uh, he threw books at us and that's not cool. So uh, let's just do what he said, and we'll come back when we're ready to take this seriously. And that's what we all did. It was uh, it was uh, some good coordination amongst uh, my classmates. Nobody nobody took the uh, easy way out. Can't give teenagers an option like that. No, they'll absolutely call your bluff. Nah, he's for wild. Yeah, he was, he was the chaplain of my college. He just like straight up threw books at people's heads. I think he hit my friend Corey. It was uh, it was wild stuff. You can't do that.
You have to know you can't do that. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh. Here we go. I feel like I wouldn't last long after I hit someone with a book. I feel like that would be the beginning of the end of old Dr. Jess. Oh, yeah, we want to be an action girl 1000%. I use vats constantly. There we go. Well, we did good work, gang. Is uh, Rex still with us or did Rex go back to... Okay. We don't have to go back and tell... Um, tell the king about the good news about Rex. Villain arc, that's right. There was a professor in my undergrad, and I went to a really small school, and it was kind of a weird school in some ways, who slapped a student once. Like, slapped a, a male professor who slapped a young woman in her face during a class. And it took them until a different president took over like two years later before that guy was fired. And I can't believe that student's parents didn't call down hell on the school for it. It was unbelievable. Does Fallout still use VATS? Uh, yes, it does. Absolutely. I mean, it was wild stuff. It was just like, how in the world is this really happening right now? He decided she was being disrespectful and just, yeah, literally hit a student. And they were like, oh, this is bad, but maybe not a fireable offense. Is Vegas new enough yet? Hey, said Princess. That's really depressing stuff. We don't want to talk about that. I wish I hadn't brought it up now. Dude was a giant a hole. Stupid big honors were making noise all night again. And look how fast Rex is now. He feels almost broken. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Welcome in, Raiders. Hey, everybody. That is a, a big old raid. Thanks so much, Nina. For, uh, for the raid. Oops, I just didn't do shout out right. That's how uh, I panicked. Welcome in. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Thank you so much, Nina, for the raid. Hope you're doing well this evening. How was your raid? What were y'all up to? Uh, I understand the raid and run. Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. Everyone be sure to go follow uh, Nina Marie. Terrific streamer, uh, game developer, all around good time over there. Always a great community to hang out in. Please, uh, please go over there and follow back. But welcome in, raiders. I'm Jess, Decaf Jedi. Uh, tonight I'm playing a little bit of New Vegas. I am a uh, professor in real life. I uh, study video games and the politics of video games. So, uh, yeah, and we're just playing a little bit of New Vegas. This is why I haven't played in many years and uh, glad to be revisiting it now. But welcome in. Hey, Eptongle. Good to see you. Robot Spacer. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Lurker Spine. Welcome in. Uh, hey, Unsecret Crush. We've got all kinds of old friends here and new. Britt, good to see you. Yeah, glad y'all could be here. Thanks for uh, dropping in. Hope you can hang out a little while while we roam around the Mojave Wasteland. And uh, yeah, have a little bit of fun. Thanks again for the raid. Hey, Green Bean Phoenix. Yeah, game studies. Good times. Oh, here's Lily. This is Lily that we need to talk to. I like Lily. I did not meet Lily in my last place. Jimmy, little Jimmy. My, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. We're all the way up here now. I don't know how we got here, but this is where it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> so yeah, Sid Princess, we're talking about dark, awful things that happened in uh, colleges long, long ago. I may have missed. Hey, Derek. Oh, Jimmy. Good to don't see you. you. Go Thanks for the lurk. Silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. This is great. I... Oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? All right, gang. This is uh, this is intense stuff. 
I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. <laughs> Lily has don't talk to me until I've had my coffee vibes. Oh no, dearie. Three makes a crowd. Oh. Hey, uh, bad news, Cass. I'm gonna need you to go back to wherever it is you go. We find this friend Benny of yours looking forward to rattle. Is whiskey your drink of choice? Are you good in a fight? Um, it's time for us to part ways. What? No music? Mojave Outpost. Good. That's good to know. Hello again, dear. Those night stalkers always carry my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. All right, give us the stealth girl perk. Okay, Lily, we're going to do this. We're going to investigate these night stalkers. Where do we need to go for that? Deeper into the mountains. Spisky, your drink of choice. <laughs> Are you good to fight? It's like a job interview. Yeah, exactly. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Green Bay. Marcus okay how do i get where i'm going thank you for the follow i appreciate it not the way or is it uh oh <laughs> i got some, stuck between some uh some spikes there for a minute hey lily how you doing What job is asking if I like whiskey and are they hiring? Yeah. I want that job. Back in college, I worked briefly as a fragrance model, uh, modeling colognes in a, uh, in a department store. And they did ask me if I like to smell good. And the answer was absolutely. But I think I could do it professionally. Not until the opportunity came up. I thought I could just smell good like an amateur up to that point in my life. Little did I know that I could uh, that I could do it for a living. That may be the best job title I've ever had was fragrance model. I was literally just the guy who like sprays little blown samples onto a piece of paper and hands them to customers who would rather not speak to me. But the job title was Fragrance Model, and because of that, I can always claim to have had a career in the modeling industry. It was for Tommy Hilfiger, too, which meant I had to dress head to toe in Tommy Hilfiger clothing, which was pretty funny. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen that episode, friends, but that sounds exactly like what I went through. So much pressure, you know, to have to always smell good. I get why it's tough on people in the modeling industry. You know, the un unrealistic beauty standards and the, you know, constant demand for perfection. I've been there. Better than smell crow. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's like basically what the job was. I was a smell crow. So he may have arrived. Cross mm, cave. I love whiskey. I drink 24-7. Do you not get the job or do you? I mean, yeah, it depends on how cool your boss is, probably. I like how the caves in this game feel like they could just be straight out of oblivion. I think it's the uh I think it's the funguses that do it for me. An oblivion ass cave. Uh oh. Stealthy boys. Mm, I have a very low chance of hitting those guys. Oh no. Get behind Grandma, sweetheart. How did I miss this character completely? I never came to Jacobstown when I played this game. It's becoming, like, very obvious to me now. Ooh. Oh, 
am I supposed to be collecting? Is it blood? I didn't bother to read my quest. Can't hurt. Eh, maybe it could. I don't want to carry all that time. You have good mushroom model. No reason not to keep using it. It's true. Yeah, it would be hard to accidentally wander to Jacob's Town because I never got Rex in the last playthrough. Let us go back to the entrance. Yes. Um, I never got Rex in the last playthrough, so I had no reason to come to Jacob's Town, so I never got Lily, I guess. What a missed set of opportunities. I don't think I recruited Cass in my last playthrough either. I really powered through this game to the end, which I guess is the absolute worst way to play New Vegas. Like, a great way to really not appreciate everything it has to offer. Yeah, I feel like this is exactly the kind of cave where you might find, like, a necromancer at the end of it or something if this were, uh... If this were an Elder Scrolls game. But find the source of your mutations. You just wait. I plan on doing DLCs. Yeah, that's a great question, Green Bean. Um, you know, I hadn't thought much about it when I first decided to stream it. And then I ended up enjoying it so much. Like, part of me thinks, maybe I should play around the DLCs a little bit. I've never played those at all. So, that would be fun to get a little bit of DLC action in. So, maybe I will. At least dip my toes in them. Those of you who played around the DLCs, are there particular ones that you think are fun to experience? Like, what's what's the DLC to choose if you're going to dive into them? Up the good work. Just walk us through the Shivering Isles in oblivion. Man, I love Shivering Isles. What a great, great DLC. One of my all time favorite DLCs. Guess I have to pick up the blood to get. Whoa! Let's see. No. Can't tell if I'm going back the way I came. The presence of more enemies tells me probably not. Oh, my armor's low. I have basically no repair skill to speak of. Big Empty is very fun if you like B-movie sidebots. I do. That sounds like it would be up my alley. Rexy. Pick up, boy. Well, this cavern is uh, cavernous, all right. Yes, I'm looking for the source of all your problems. That's the way I came in, I think it is. Are there are dead bodies along the way. That'd be a good indicator. I'm way turned around now.
Ooh, new areas, quests, perks. I like all those things. Yeah, you know, me too, Green Bean. The differences between how Bethesda put together Fallout 3 versus how we see Obsidian doing Fallout 4, it really is just such a fascinating contrast. I'm sorry, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas. Um, I really just go back to the beginning. You've got to be. I cannot believe that. There's where the solution is. How dumb. How dumb. Okay. Let's save this and get going. Yeah, very different flavors, definitely. And, you know, I don't think I... Like I said, I think I plowed through this game just too quickly in my initial play. Like, I don't know why I was in such a hurry to finish it, but me and my wife just, like, really powered through and saw very little of the game and... As I mentioned on stream before, we didn't realize we had sided with Mr. House when we did and then regretted that. So we didn't get the ending we wanted. And I think that colored all my memories of Fallout New Vegas. Colossal Caves. Yeah, I wish I could get this thing in uh, VR. Best of Hustle can see I'm still on world record pace. Yeah, we can't we can't ignore the fact that uh, this is still world record pace. Oh man, I've got a little bit of rad boys. More than I'd like. Tbh. Okay, what did I miss in this room? That was very clearly the the important room. Oh wait, maybe a napkin. Wait. Okay. If I sent Cass back with a whole bunch of gear on her, probably should have transferred some stuff before I sent her packing. A little mild radiation poisoning never hurt anybody. Like half the people living in New Mexico today probably have mild radiation poisoning. They don't give out Nobel Prizes for mild radiation poisoning. We did it, gang. We've solved another great puzzle. Uh, let's see here. We're going to fast travel our way back. Obzi. All right, let's tell Dr. Henry the big news. I did go back to Dr. Henry and not Marcus or somebody, right? Yeah. Jacobstown is really cool. So glad I came here this time. <laughs> glad you could all be here with me. Alrighty. Is there something else I can do for you? Mm. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations. Stealth so radiation. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of night stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Lily is eccentric, mm. certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks. And she still insists possibly immediate and permanent. Oh, wow. Damage. Is that all? 
There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II's never got beyond the prototypes. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Uh, I didn't even think Once about it... this. Uh oh, chat disconnect? Did I disconnect? Uh oh, I think I have disconnected. Oh, my internet went down. Uh oh. Well, I'll tell you what, gang. I'm still recording this, so I think when I upload it later. Hopefully that will still exist. Hopefully I haven't just been cut off completely, but you know what? I think I should probably stop here. My stream died. Uh, so maybe this is the time to, uh, to call it a night since my internet seems to be down. Goodness gracious. Well, hopefully this recording survives and uh, you all can see this important wrap up here on YouTube later. But for now, uh, with my internet down and my hopes dashed, uh, I say to all of you, thanks for watching. Take care. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you uh, for being out there. Uh, consider joining the community. We'd love to have you as a member, but mostly, 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 I'm just glad you hang out and watch a little bit of Fallout with me. So everyone, take care out there, and I will see you again soon, hopefully with a working internet connection. What the heck?